I'm here at one of my favorite fish markets, surrounded by all this wonderful and tasty fish. But I came here on a hunt. A hunt for a particular kind of fish. A special kind of fish. A kind of fish that I've been craving for. A fish that even a king was said to adore. And they call this fish the Alaihi Mama. And oh, Mama, this fish is delicious. The Alaihi Mama has sweet, flaky meat and is phenomenal pan fried, served over steamed baby bok choy, finished with ginger teriyaki reduction. Mmm. But here's the thing. This is a fish that I only recently begun eating. You see, I've been catching and eating fish from a young age. <laughs> I never had the opportunity to come in contact with this special fish until a trip to Lanai. Lanai is part of the main Hawaiian Islands. It boasts beautiful sea cliffs on its southern shores. This particular Hawaiian island is also filled with many legends of old, passed down through generations. One of these legends is about a ravishing young princess from Maui named Pu'upehe and a warrior from Lanai named Makakehau. Makakehau was so infatuated by the beauty of Pu'upehe, he took her to be his wife and brought her back to his home on Lanai. Sadly, one day during a storm, Pu'upehe drowned in a nearby sea cave. Heartbroken, Makakehau retrieved her body from the sea and with help from the gods, climbed the steep rock island where he buried her in a tomb. Overcome with grief, Makakehau leaped off the rock to his death. That's a tragic legend of two lovers succumbing to the formidable Lanai coastline. The same coastline that not only highly prized opihi or limpids love to live, but also these steep and rocky areas is where the Alaihi Mama resides. We were fortunate to be invited to fish this area with a local island resident named Chase. We were blessed to catch one Alaihi Mama each that night. And now we'll share with you a simple recipe of Alaihi Mama soup, served with a side of opihi poke. Enjoy! But first, in order to cook the fish, we must clean the fish. And this fish poses many hazards to the person cleaning it. Not only does Alaihi Mama have many sharp spines protecting its delicious meat. Nevertheless, this fish is quite unique. Most fish in Hawaii have soft, harmless scales that can easily be removed without incident. However, the Alaihi Mama possesses scales that can cut unsuspecting fingers. Holy shit, that fish is nuts. Look at that. Ouch. Never in my life would I think a scale would cut me like that. I'm in shock right now. Oh, look at that. Dang. Maybe for you So everybody out there, please be careful when handling and cleaning this fish. It's best not to be like me, just use cut proof gloves and a proper fish scaler. I don't have any of that, so I finish scaling this fish with a rag. When we're all done cleaning this fish, let's go inside and start dinner. Let's begin with a sweet Maui onion, diced and set aside. Now we have upo or green squash. Healthy and delicious, we'll cut and remove seeds. You can also remove the skin, but we're gonna keep it on for the fiber. Next up, a few diced tomatoes. Let's grate some fresh ginger, cut lemongrass stalks. We're almost ready for the fish. How's it everybody? This is an alaihi mama. I was able to catch this last night. Uh, this, this fish is a delicacy on the island of Lanai. I had the opportunity to go catch this fish with my friend Chase, who's a local there on the island. 
they really enjoy making out of soup so let's get started I'm going to show you how to make this dish thanks to Bretta Chase we have a pot raging with water we're going to add some homemade fish stock that's another recipe and another show that's going to be simmering while that's going so in goes a lemongrass to diffuse also the onions are going in this is local onions this is Maui onions super sweet super nice that's going in the pot and also green squash green long squash this is going in which just gives a a little bit more bulk to the dish so this alihi we catch it at night time uh, we were dunking with squid leg and yeah it's the, the biggest ones that we catch is on the outer islands let's cover the pot and boil for four minutes we're back it's been four minutes we're gonna check on our pot it is raging in here, raging boil. Everything, oh, it smells so good. You can smell the lemongrass. We're gonna, we're gonna add some freshly grated ginger right in here, give it some more, uh, some more of that aromatics. Now we're gonna add the tomatoes. These are local tomatoes right from the west side of Oahu. Let's cover again and boil for 10 more minutes. All right, gang, it's been 10 minutes. I also forgot to tell you to make sure you take the lemongrass stalks out. Real fibrous, you don't want to be eating that. So that's just coming out. So total it's been about 15, 20 minutes. The soup's looking good. I think it's time to add the fish. So just getting the last bit of the lemon stalks out. The soup smells really, really good. It almost smells like a fa kind of kind of aroma coming off of this. So this fish is going to chop in three pieces. Okay, so I always start with the head first. Everything is all clean, ready to go into the soup. So that's normally your last, your last ingredient in. So that's right at the tail end of the cooking. So we're just going to plop that in. Cover it up and let them simmer for a little while. All right, see you guys in a few. While the soup is simmering, let's make some opihi poke. Start by shucking the opihi from their shell. Next, add a little sea salt, fine minced green onion, minced fresh chili pepper, and some sweet round onion, and just a little splash of soy sauce. Mixed until combined, and you have an amazing dish right there. All right, gang, it's been a total of 25 minutes, roughly. Fish is smelling good. Let's give it a little taste here. Let's taste see what we got. See if we need to add anything. And you can, you can see the oils coming off the fish, these little oil orange dots. This fish is nice and oily. It's very rich. Mmm. Mmm, very good. Soup has a good good base to it. Fish is sweet. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. What's Hawaiian salt going in? It's probably good. We'll we'll stir, give another taste, especially on the salt. But a little bit before I do that, I'm gonna add Chase made sure to add fish sauce or the patis, the secret ingredient. So we just add a couple, this is pretty salty, so we just add a couple, a couple zings of that. Give it a stir, see what we're working with here. So the fish is just flaking. This is nice white meat. The fish is flaking off the bone. We have, it's kind of turning the soup this little orangey color. Nice, it's a nice rich fatty fish. Ooh, it's hot, but it's good. Ooh. Good taste, good flavor. Okay, uh, last couple of ingredients going in the pot. I'm gonna add just just a little bit of sesame seed oil, just to give it that that nice nutty flavor. That's going in. We also got some greens. This is 
hydroponic parsley. This is coming from the west side of Oahu too. It's coming from uh, a friend of mine's house. That's all going in there. Yeah. Um, also, it's really tasting to me like, it's almost like a fall almost it's tasting, especially with lemongrass. So why not add a little bit of, this is local basil too. This is coming from hydroponics. Uh, this is a nice Thai. Mm, Thai basil, Thai variety. So I'm just gonna give this a quick uh, julienne. So with the parsley, I just kind of just rough um, uh, minced it there. Actually, I I rough uh, ripped it. But with the Thai basil, I'm just gonna do a couple quick uh, ribbons like that. That's just going in last. Also, a little bit of green onion. So is washed. I'm just going to use, you know I'm just going to take some of that off. A couple, hit them, with the, hit them with the knife here. So greens right at the end folks. Damn. Stir this, give it a taste. See if we're missing anything. So you can see the the fish is just falling apart off the bone. Look at that flakes. So again, this is a this is a fish that does have a lot of little bones. So you just got to be careful, especially when you're eating it. So let's see. You just want to taste the broth. Oh, perfect. The only thing missing is rice. Well, because we got a red fish, gotta bust out red rice. Red rice is packed with antioxidants and is a healthier alternative to white rice. This is something different. I just thought, why not have some red rice with red fish? So, it just kind of goes right. We're just going to spoon them right in here. Look at that. Look at the color on that. Different, yeah? We'll try them. Okay, we're going to walk over here. We're going to bust out a ladle. see if what we can do so the the squash I can I can tell it's it's all nice and tender that's good everything is just cooking down put a little bit of the tomatoes we got that green squash going in here and then of course the star of the show the fish right here Alihi Mama got a nice piece look at that just flaking off the bone like that dang Okay, folks, let's give it a try. Let's come over here on the table. Coming on over on the table. Okay, this is this is for you, brother Chase. This is a little hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, and that fish is mean. And what about the opihi and rice? Oh. Oh, Pihi, mmm, Ali Mama, the nutty special. Fish is awesome. You guys gotta try it. Go out and try to catch this. Not even sure if it's in the market. The fishermen just eat them right off the bat. Anyway, guys, until next time. Thanks for joining us again, guys. Enough talking, it's time to eat already.